So this is what happens when you don't look at the forecast for the day and you underappreciate just how much the wind can affect the tide because there's a huge wind as you can see blowing on the surface of the water right now and it's just driving the water out into the Potomac leaving me with uh, very little choice but to uh, walk towards the mouth, the entrance to try and find some deeper water up there not a great start, not a great start boys been here for about 20 minutes or so and I found my first law. This guy's a little bit old. It's just a lipless crankbait. It's probably no good. I mean, it's completely rusted over with moss. But that just gives you an idea of, you know, what you can find out here. I guess this video is actually now just going to be me finding laws because I'm probably not going to find any fish out here. Let's see, here we go. Okay, look, we found our second crankbait. What do you think? Looks like a KVD. Shallow diver, maybe a... I'm trying to think of the size. Not really sure what size it is. It's got like some kind of swivel on it. But uh, I think if you clean that up, it'd work pretty well. So the strategy really is I'm kind of looking for cover. Little trees, little logs. Something that, you know, protrudes out of the water. Got plenty of time to do this, by the way. Um, the tide is actually still going out, which seems shocking when you think of how low the water is. But again, that wind has really pushed the water out into the Potomac. So the tide is still turning and it is still in my favor. But I see line. I see line. I don't know if you can see that line, but like guys, what the hell are you throwing out here? It was like 40, 50 pound mono. You gotta be kidding me. You don't need that. And also just the volume of it, you know? With that much line, you're basically cutting it off rather than just snapping it with your hands. And it's just so stupid. It's like so stupid, boys. I've just mostly got plastics today. That's kind of what I'm working with. So I got a drop shot tied on. Because that is what you do, boys. You go to four mile run, and you put on the drop shot, and you try your luck, yes? That went from like creepy old guy to Russian really quick. Don't know why I did that. Anyway, drop shot, little finesse worm. Oh my knees. Let me think. Let me think. Oh, why is it doing that? Oh, you're kidding me, look. So a little spot of water got on the reel, I mean, I don't really know where, or where from I should say, but uh, it's, it's frozen. It's frozen the line. Look, how crazy is that? This is, this might be too cold to fish, boys. Look, I can't even, I can't cast it out. I can't use the drop shot. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I can't, I don't think I can use the drop shot. It would be, right? Like there would be problems. Fishing in winter, so easy. So easy, my friends, my friends. Everybody should fish in winter. It's so simple. Guys, I'll, tell, I'll be deadly honest with you. I'll be deadly honest with you. I have no idea what I'm doing. This is probably the stupidest decision I've ever made on my day off, on my freaking day off. You know, it's funny. I said to myself, I'm not gonna get those two things caught. I'm not going to get my jerk bait and my drop shot caught together. Only stupid people do that. I'm not stupid. You can go that way. Interesting. Don't want to go that way. Looks like a crack. A crack den, you know? Uh, uh. Yep, I am crawling on my ass because you better you than me going down something like that in these conditions. What are you doing? Lee, what are you doing? This is just like so bad. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, that was terrifying. So I'm gonna just do a recap. Uh, didn't have very good footing. Reached out, grabbed a branch that I thought was stronger than it was. 
the branch snapped on me and I almost, almost just fell head first down this, down this uh, slope, ledge, whatever you call it. That would have been game over. Do you want to know something really funny as well, boys? I got dropped off here. I don't have a ride for another two hours. So if I did fall in, uh, I'd probably die, uh, realistically. So, yeah, something to consider, I guess. <sighs> Guys, I'll, t I'll give you this right now. I don't care what any of the bigger YouTubers are doing this season. Uh, I, don't care what, I don't care what Mike is doing. I don't care what all those Guggen lads are doing. If I can catch a fish in these conditions, 25 degrees, look at the surface of the water. Look at that wind. It's just blowing everything out into the Potomac. If I can catch a fish today, uh, that was an awful cast. Um, if I can catch a fish today, uh, I deserve 500,000 subs and those guys deserve to delete their channels, I think that's fair, right? Actually, it was kind of funny when I was getting ready this morning and last night, I actually legitimately thought I had a really good chance of catching something because I thought, you know, nobody's going to come fishing when it's 25 degrees outside. Nobody's stupid enough to do that. I'll be the only one there. Oh, a fool's dream. Well, this is the only fish I found. That's a shad. Oh, oh he is frozen solid. Look at that. Frozen. That counts, right? It's catching a fish, having it in your hand. That's one. I think that's one. I think we'll go with that. We'll go with one. On that side. Okay, here we go. Here's another dead fish. Oh, he's still alive. What? So I, I just realized I had my fish grippers, so I was gonna grab him. But now I can't find him. And I'm stood right on where he was, so. Although it may have looked like uh, the end for Mr. Catfish, he might actually have just swam away. So, my work here is done. Sorry about the background noise. I'm next to some kind of power station that was making a bloody racket. What a day, absolutely nothing happened. <laughs> Uh, got skunked again, uh, such as the winter, I guess. Found a bunch of baits though. Uh, if you go at low tide here at Four Mile Run, you will find that there's just baits lying all over the bottom of the water column because it's just dry and you can just walk out there and grab them. Uh, ended up finding, what did I find? Found a couple of jigs. Found a spinner bait that's kind of broken. Not sure if I can really salvage that. And then I got a couple of swim baits with uh, the hooks that look fine and one jig that looks okay. And then what else did I get? I found two crank baits. One of them I dropped like an idiot. The second one here, I think it's a KVD. Uh, it looks like a size two or 2.5. And it looks all right. I think when I clean it up, uh, maybe if I replace- <laughs> Clean it up? Uh, maybe for a quick. <laughs> God, that's gross. Sorry, that is gross. The other crankbait I got was this KVD. I think it's a size 2. But I think if I clean it up a little bit and replace the hooks, I think I can catch some fish on that. But uh, maybe I'll have to wait until the spring to use it. But anyway, this has been an absolute abject failure. I am freezing my balls off waiting for my ride, who should be showing up fairly soon. But I appreciate you watching guys and hopefully soon I can uh, I can actually catch a fish and bring it to you on the channel. So all the best and take care and try and stay warm, okay? Take care.